Hey guys, so in this example we want to prove something called Vandermond's identity. This says that m plus n choose r is equal to the sum, k goes from 0 to r, if m choose r minus k times n choose k, add all those up and you should get m plus n choose r. And we're going to provide a combinatoric proof of this, so this is kind of uh, going to be a fun one. So the combinatoric proof is going to go this way. I'm going to do this by a Venn diagram. So let's start with a universal set. And let's suppose that we have two sets that are disjoint. So totally disjoint. So it doesn't matter what size they are here, but let's say we have set A and set B. Let's suppose the cardinality of set A is equal to N. The cardinality of set B is equal to M. And the cardinality of the intersection is equal to zero. So there is no intersection of these two sets. And our job here is we want to choose R elements from the union. So choose R elements from the set A union B. All right, so this is our job. So on one hand, this argument is exactly the argument, the, the, the number that we're given on the left hand side, right? So we want to choose R elements from A union B. Since these are disjoint, the cardinality of A union B is always cardinality of A plus cardinality of B. Then it, we have to subtract off the overlap, right? But for this example, we have set this up so that that's zero. And so what we have then is that the cardinality of A union B is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B. And that's obviously equal to M plus N, right? And so on one hand, the number of ways that we can choose these, let's call this our left hand because of the way our equation was written from left to right. But on one hand, uh, we get that this is just m plus n choose r. That's our goal, right? And so that we just randomly pick from the union of these two. This is just more of like a visual aid so that we know what we're doing. But we choose r elements. We, we kind of pour these two buckets together into one, and we choose r elements from that bucket. This is the number of ways that we can do it, right? Now, on the other hand, we could do something slightly different, right? So on the other hand... Let's suppose, or let's let uh, some number k be less than or equal to r um, and greater than or equal to 0. So we, choose, we fix this number k here. And let's say we choose, we start by choosing k elements from set A. All right, so first we choose, choose k elements from just from set A. Right, so what's this number going to be in, in binomial notation? Well, it's going to be n choose k. Uh, uh, sorry, the card. Yeah, the cardinality is n choose k, right? So n choose k. Then what do we have to do? Well, we have to choose the rest of the elements that get us up to r. We have to choose those from b. So from over here, we're going to choose the rest of our elements. All right. So step two is to choose the remaining r minus k elements from our set b. All right, and so what's that going to be? Well, that's going to be m. The cardinality of b is m. Choose r minus k. r minus k. And we have to, this is an and. This statement is an and, right? So we have to do both of these. If we and, we choose from one set and we choose from the other, that means we need to multiply them, right? So this means for our fixed k, for our fixed choice of k, the number of ways that we can choose k elements from A and the rest of them from B is going to be n choose k times m choose r minus k. But of course there are lots of different ways that we can break up this r, the r units into k units plus r minus k units, right? And so finally what we need to do is add up all these different possibilities for the different number of k's. So finally sum up the possible values of k. What we end up with then is that the way that we can choose these r elements from these two sets is going to be the sum, k goes from 0 up to r, that's exactly what we have here, um, add up these products, right? So n choose k times m choose r minus k. If we scroll back up, we see I switch the order, right? I switch the order of those two, but those are exactly the right terms. It's multiplication, so um, commutative property holds. 
And what we've done is, is solve the same problem, the same counting problem, two different ways. And what that means is that this number must be equal to this number. They have to be the same. And so we conclude, this is Vandermond's identity, we conclude that m plus n choose r is always equal to the sum, as k varies from 0 to r, of the product of m times r minus k. I'll write it in the same way it was given to us. Just switch the order of these two times n choose k. And this product, this identity, will always hold.